Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this army showcase video. I have an absolute treat for you today, a large Dark Angels army. If you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome here at Siege Studios. We're a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 32 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming above tabletop minimum standard all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Now, if you're interested in a quote with us here at Siege, be it for a character which we specialize in, an army or a small force, all you need to to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once there, all you need to do is select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and requirements. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on the contact form. Fire that off to us to get the process started and hear back from us with a quote. We're back in a second to have a look at this incredible army in more detail. Stick around. So guys, as ever, let's start with all the characters from this Dark Angels army, and there are nine of them. Uh, for you Dark Angels fans out there, you're in for an absolute treat today because we've got so many cool models to have a look at that lead this force. Uh, so we're gonna go from left to right, uh, just to make things easy, uh, and just for me to remember which one I'm up to. Um, we're gonna start with the Chaplain uh, again. Really classic model uh, from the GW range. Uh, very, very synonymous of 40K, just sums it up as well. Um, all the models in the force have been painted uh, by Fletcher one of the artists here at Siege, um, done a stellar job of painting all of these models to our gold level. Um, so you've got a, an exceptional amount of detail work across all of these characters. Um, every little bit has been painted uh, through multiple, multiple stages of highlighting and uh, tonal variation. All the purity seals and everything have full text work done on them. All the lenses and gems are all painted through various stages of highlighting, point of light source. Um, Everything is done to an exemplary finish uh, for our gold level, as you'll see there. So you can see all the little lenses and everything all fully painted on this guy as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, it's, again, super, super cool model. This is actually the fine cast version of it. It's not the metal version of it, uh, but still super crisp details, as you'll see there, and uh, excellent execution across this as well. I do like the green pad as well on him, just to have those uh, Dark Angel colours on him as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so super, super sharp highlighting done on the uh, armour panels as well, which is really lovely. So that's just the chaplain. Uh, we're then going to do the banner bearer let's have a look at him uh, again this is a fine cast version of the banner bearer you've got this lovely lovely uh, dark angels uh, banner here with all the extra little details completely uh, you know picked out fully um multiple highlighting stages i love the little checkerboard pattern as well on the bottom of the banner i think that's absolutely stellar uh, so as you can see there and you've got the free-handed um script uh free, sorry not script free-handed sort of pattern across the bottom of the cape there as well it's all been done painstakingly by hand uh move around the back as well just so you can see around the back of the banner a little bit of um sort of uh, texture done to the banner the catch lights where the cloth is catching the light as well which is really nice and again you've got that uh, that pattern repeating around the bottom of the banner bearer as well there but all the purity seals with text on them as well which is really lovely uh, and again you've got that sculpted pad there that's highlighted and got a bit of tonal variation on it as well so that's just the banner bearer really really cool model uh, then we're going to have a look at Belial um, in his really, really classic point my sword pose. Uh, but as you'll see here, again, a completely brush blended power sword there. So that's all been painstakingly done by brush. Uh, it's not done with an airbrush, it's all done by hand. Uh, every little bit of detail fully painted on him as well. Uh, and even that little pattern across the cowling across the top of his hood as well, just picked out, which is really lovely. All the text and everything done on him. Uh, you can see lion written there on the little scroll on the shield, on his mantle shield as well, which is quite cool. Uh, and then move around the back you've got obviously all the highlighting work done on the cloth work as well uh, and tonal variation done on there as well which is really really lovely uh, so that's just Belial. Uh, then we'll have a look at the master of the forge in his full suit and full regalia again a lovely lovely model uh, really deep rich red as well which is cool uh, darker towards the lower portions brighter towards the top as well subtle subtle gradient of color on that as well uh, but all the little details painted even if I just get this to focus this, on the all specs you've got a little sweeping thing on there as well with little blips and things that's all been done again really really just absolutely covered in detail this guy like you put there's lots and lots of stuff that's been done and i like the fact that the model is super clean but then all the metal work on his servo harness is quite gritty and bitty uh well as well which is quite nice let's just get that to focus for you guys just realize it's out of focus uh, you can see all the the script and everything done on the purity seals all the little lenses and lights all done as well uh even as i said on the little sort of all specs device all the buttons dials and the blips and everything are all fully painted on there nice bit of um uh, heat bloom done on the uh, on the flamer as, as well but all the power cable was done with this lovely sort of chevron in a nice blue power cable just to pick those out and really make those complement and stand out to the rest of the armor so you can 
sort of read the model correctly. Um, and then obviously you've got the Mechanica symbol there on the cog on the uh, axe done as well. Uh, but all the all the little details are all fully painted through multiple stages of highlighting just to give you a real centerpiece model for your force. So that's just the uh, master of the forge. Then we're going to have a look at uh, uh, Company Master. Uh, again, this is a very iconic model from the Dark Angels range, uh, but painted to a stellar finish here. As you can see uh, the same brush blended power weapon there, as you'll see. Um, you've got the, uh, the company symbol on the knee pad as well, which is really lovely. Um, but all the areas of details are just picked out through super super amounts of highlighting just to give you a real uh, centerpiece model whichever one of these you choose to lead your force is gonna uh, is gonna really serve you well on the tabletop and also look stellar in the cabinet as well uh, so that's just the uh, awesome awesome company master um, then the front row of characters, let's have a look at the librarian. Now, our client has requested that they are done in a green as well, so that's why they're painted green, which I do think suits them really, really well and keeps a nice concentric colour scheme across the force as well. So if any of you are wondering why the librarian is painted green, that's the reason why. Um, and you can see there the in, inner lining of the cloak done with that lovely uh, red uh, sort of colour that we've got there and also as well you've got the piping that's been done on the model as well, which is cool. Uh, but all the text on the book and everything all done as well, uh, multiple areas of highlighting on the face, the eyes are picked out, the teeth are picked out, everything's done to a super pristine finish. Again, you've got that, uh, all the scripture there on the end of the staff as well. Uh, and then we move around the back and you can see, obviously, they've got the power cable there with the chevron black and red, uh, sorry, black and yellow. Um, and all the all the sort of uh, cable picked out as well with uh, nice tonal gradation on there as well. The transfers and everything added, as you'll see. Um, and then uh, and then obviously all the edge highlighting on the armor done through multiple stages to a super, super bright point and uh, obviously sharp highlighting throughout on the, uh, on the models as well. So that's just the librarian in Terminator armor. Next up, we have the Primaris Apothecary. Really cool model. Uh, feel a little bit sorry for the guy under his boot, but never mind. Um, and maybe he's one of the heretics from the army. But um, but <laughs> you've got this uh, lovely uh, white uh, armor as well, with a nice amount of grays added to it as well, just to really give him a bit more of a muted tone as well. On the as well, which is cool. Uh, and uh, every little bit of detail there, as you'll see, has got you know hours and hours invested into it. The little screens and little blips and little dials and buttons all done as well. Um, we've got obviously the little skull on his waist that's been highlighted through various stages, quite muted, the color palette there as well. All the little power cables, as you'll see, with the black and yellow chevrons on them. Uh, liquid in the vials on the weapon that he's got on the thing. On his, uh, on his wrist, you've got obviously the screen that's got all the little blips and crosshairs. I'm just gonna try and get that to focus so you can see it, but loads and loads of detail on there. And then we've obviously got all the facial details painted, all the eyes and everything. Uh, the little service studs in his head are all highlighted through various stages as well, just to really make those stand out in the skin tone. I love the liquid sloshing around in the vial as well, which is really cool. Uh, and obviously uh, just every aspect of detail, just really uh, high attention to detail, high sort of finish on all of these, uh, as you'll see. So that's just the uh, that's just the uh, apothecary. And even the, the, the dead chap on the base has got, you know, a lot of time is spent on him, obviously with all of his uh, edge highlighting, the pristine crest on the chest, the little uh, lens with a point of light source and blending in the lens. All of those little bits are all done through loads and loads of investment of time. Uh, so that's what you get with us here and seizure with your characters. We are character specialists, as uh, hopefully a lot of you will know. If you're new to the channel, then we do specialise in painting characters. And hopefully this gives you a good example of what we do with characters and centerpiece models for your army. Um, Lord Executioner, again, really cool. I've always loved this pose on this model. Um, I think he looks absolutely solid. Um, you know, you wouldn't want to mess with him. Uh, quite, It's a fine cost model as far as I'm aware, and um, obviously it had a lot of attention and detail put into it. Same as all these other characters, all the scripture done on the, on the jump pack and purity seals, as you'll see. Uh, again, again, you've got this power axe here that's obviously got brush blending done on it to do that lovely transition from light to dark on all the different facets, and catch lights and all been put on there. The little gems and lenses are all painted as well, so that's just this. Uh, master of execution and uh, you've obviously got or lord executioner should i say and you've got um, obviously all the skin tone done there through various stages of highlighting the eyes and teeth and everything all fully painted as well uh, so just really done to a super high finish and then probably one of my favorite dark angel models super super iconic uh, but a bit of a twist on him metal model uh you've got ezekiel uh and i've always loved the pose uh i think he looks very obi-wan kenobi uh really really cool uh, in his uh, pose uh, again with his banner and everything done to a super high standard uh brush blended force weapon as you'll see there all the details done on the on the banner um his eyes and everything, are all, or his eye, should I say, because he's got a bionic eye, but his eye all painted with point of light source and catch light in the black uh, pupil as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, and then move him around 
Uh, again, the same attention to detail through all the cloth work, through everything done on him. Uh, his book, all the leather has got some nice detail and texture put onto it, same as the pistol holster. Purity seals have all got text on them as well. Um, and again, everything picked out to a really super, super high standard. Uh, I like the fact that the power cables to his force uh, weapon and psychic good are done in yellow. Really makes them stand out in the armour as well, which is which is lovely. Uh, and again, that lovely transition of yellow on the banner as well, as you'll see, it goes from this cream all the way down to this yellow as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, and again, done in, done in green, not, not blue as per our client's request, but I think it suits him really, really well. And uh, sometimes it's nice to see models in a different color palette. I think, um, I think it really shows what you can do with the models. Uh, and still keep that awesome Dark Angels narrative. So that's just Ezekiel. Uh, but there's all the characters from the Force, guys. Next up, we're going to be having a look at all of the infantry. There's loads to, to, to you guys to see. Deathwing, uh, veterans, company veterans, uh, Vanguard, Vets, Sternguard, well, and Tacticals, the lot, they're all coming up. So stick around, that's coming up shortly. Uh, and then after that, we've got all the tanks and stuff. So you've got loads of eye candy for you. So stick around, they're all coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. So guys, next up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this Dark Angels force. Um, there's various different squads. At the back, we've got some Deathwing. At the front, we've got some Assault Squads. We've got a Stern Guard squad and 15 Dark Angels uh, Tactical Marines. So a great selection of infantry for you guys to check out. Let's have a look at the Assault Squad first of all. Uh, Fletcher's done a stellar job on all of these throughout the force. There are loads and loads of little bits and intricacies of detail. Let's get this focus. Uh, loads and loads of little bits of detail across all of these models that have been superbly picked out. Um, super clean, super, super sharp highlighting through multiple stages uh, through all of these models. Again, so this is just one of the, the uh, Vanguard veterans here, as you see. Um, pull forward the next one so you can have a look at him lovely lovely plasma glow there on the pistol as well which is really cool all the little lenses and gems and everything all painted uh in, which is really nice uh beauty seal there with all the text on it even text on the one around his leg on the sash that he's got there as well all the little gems and everything all painted really really cool uh next one let's have a look at him uh, again i do really really love the vanguard vet kit it's one of my favorite uh, of the classic marine kits again you've got text there and all the uh, little uh, banners and scrolls and things there as you'll see uh, so that's just him and then uh, we've got one here with maximus mark IV lid on him as well which is really nice again power sword there with little glints on the power on the runes as well a um, little bit of sort of uh, scratches and things on the blades as well which is really lovely uh, again all the little uh, highlighting dots and stages through the various levels of highlighting that all of these models have gone through uh, which is really lovely pull forward to the next one from the uh, from the vanguard squad here as well we've got that lovely subtle plasma glow there on the pistol which is really nice again super super sharp highlighting on all of these uh, so that's the vanguard squad then we'll move through and have a look at the stern guard marines now a lot of you are saying oh we can't have stern guard in dark angels but they they, they look cool so that's all that matters um and uh awesome awesome uh set of models the stern guard kit another great kit from uh, from gw uh, really has lasted the test of time and uh hopefully will be around for many many more years to come uh, again so you can see just one of the stern guard vets here pull forward another one so you can see Again, super, super cool pose there with the uh, bolt up raised as well, which is really lovely. All the like, gems and screens and dials and everything were fully painted uh, as well. So that's just really cool. Uh, like the red uh, robe work, uh, not robe work, sorry, the, the rope around his leg. Uh, really nice complimentary sort of ruby colour as well, which is lovely to that green. Uh, and then again, we've got the sergeant from that squad there, as you'll see. Again, with that lovely plasma glow there, all the little lenses and everything all fully painted as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, again, just super, super sharp and clean finish on all of these, which is stellar. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the next guy in the squads, so you can see him. Again, super, super cool models uh, with absolutely loads of details. You've got the uh, transfers applied to these guys as well. So they've all got the Dark Angel symbols. And then we have the uh, Heavy Flamer Toting Brother, which is really, really cool. Again, super, super refined uh, text work there on all the scrolls as well, which is really cool. Uh, you've got the nice uh, fuel cable there in the lovely chevron pattern that it's got. Uh, and again, all the scripture and everything done as well, even the transfer applied so it looks correct with the, uh, the scroll work there as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just uh, the Stern God squad. Now, I'm not going to show you all the tacticals because they are all very similar, but this is just the veteran squad here. Um, again, really, really cool. Uh, extra little detail. Another kit that's been around for quite some time, but really, really holds up well, which is lovely. So that's just one of those. Uh, pull forward these really quickly so you can have a look at all of these again. Lovely, lovely, subtle gradient as well on the transition, so they're bright towards the top and they fade down nicely as well, which is really cool, but completely fully painted. Every aspect of detail done to a very, very high standard uh, on these. 
as well. And let's have a look at the other Vanguard chap here, not Vanguard, sorry, the other veteran chap here as well with another power sword. Again, little nodules and things where the power bleeds from is also painted and highlighted, which is really cool. Um, and then uh, the last two veterans again from that kit with these lovely robes all highlighted through multiple stages uh, to give that very old look as well. You've got the red lining on the inside as well that gradiates from a darker to lighter as well, which is really cool. So that lovely attention to detail across all those models. Then we've got 10 tacticals, and I won't pull forward all of these guys because they are all essentially the same, but I'll pull forward a few just so you can see a standard Dark Angels tactical marine from this force. Again, with all the transfers and everything applied as well. Let's pull forward the sergeant so you can have a look at him. Always like having a look at the sergeant from the squad. Again, banner there with the transfer and some text and freehand text and done on there as well, which is really cool. Again, super, super sharp highlighting and refined finish. Lovely, lovely transition of colour on the back of the banner as well. Um, so that's just the sergeant. We can see every aspect of detail painted to a really, really crisp, super high finish. Uh, and then let's have a look at the plasma from that squad as well. So there we have the plasma gun wielding chap. Extra little lenses and things all painted. Lovely, subtle plasma glow there on the gun as well. Uh, just, just not too much and not too overdone. Sometimes OSL uh, can be way too overdone. This is nice and refined. Uh, which is really, really cool. So that's just the uh, the plasma wielding chap from the uh, Tactical Marines. And we'll finish on one last tactical just so you can have a bit more eye candy for the uh, Dark Angels, I mean traitors, I mean Dark Angels lovers out there. Um, <laughs> but um, but there you go. So that's just one of the, uh, the ta ta last tacticals. Then let's have a look at the uh, the cherry on the cake, which is the Deathwing. Really, really cool uh, models. Loads of detail on them, as you'll see. Lovely sort of um, cream-coloured armour. Uh, or ivory coloured armour, uh, but you can see all the super, super crisp highlighting done on every aspect of detail on these chaps. Uh, I love the uh, metal work on the legs as well. I think that's really, really cool. And the green is really vibrant as well, which is lovely. Let's pull forward the sergeant from the squad. Awesome pose, massive power weapon there, as you'll see, fully blended by hand as well. So that's all the brush blending done on that. Uh, all the little lenses and everything painted as well through multiple, multiple stages of highlighting on all the armor, the plastic armor, the rubber seals, uh, all the green work, the feathers, uh, gold work, everything to a really, really super, super high standard. Uh, so that's the sergeant. Then we'll have a look at the chap with the assault cannon. Let's have a look at him. Again, really cool pose, very stoic. Uh, every aspect of detail has been painted through loads of different stages as well, uh, as you'll see. I uh, like the uh, swords on the side of the barrel as well. If you couldn't get enough Dark Angels iconography, then uh, they even put it on the barrels, which is really cool. The little lights and gems and buttons and things all painted as well. Uh, so no detail has been overlooked on these. It's just really, really super, super sharp highlighting, as you'll see through all the different areas of detail and, and uh, armor panels and sections as well, which is really cool. So you can see all that super, super sharp highlighting that's been done on these uh, and then we'll pull forward just uh the we might as well pull forward the uh two other chaps from the squad just so you can see those uh, so as you can see here really really cool uh selection of details across this guy as well uh all kind of very unique as well which kind of makes each one a little character which is lovely uh this infantry section is quite long but i'd rather you see in high detail and super close up all these awesome models uh, the little refraction of light in the lenses the, bl the blending done in the lenses on the, the guy as well which is really cool um, and every aspect done to a super high finish so i do hope you like this and that's the last infantry trap from this force up next we're gonna have a look at the mighty land raider and also the rhino and the deathwing dreadnought they're coming up next guys so stick around and uh, we'll see you back very shortly So last up as part of this Dark Angels force, we've got the three vehicles and transports from this army. And uh, this army does not disappoint. You get a lovely Rhino, uh, Land Raider, and also a Deathwing Venerable Dreadnought, which is really cool. Uh, I know Fletcher's really, really loved working on these three models. Um, so let's start by having a look at the Deathwing Dreadnought. Again, a really, really cool kit that's lasted the test of time. Do absolutely love all the little extra details and things that this model comes with. Um, so you've got obviously the uh, standard Dreadnought chassis, as you'll see, but with extra little bits of detail that obviously denote him as a venerable and also his Deathwing, so he's painted in the Deathwing colours. Uh, same as the uh, Deathwing that you saw in this infantry section of the video, we've got all the little extra bits of detail added to this model, all the little lenses and things painted, so you'll see the little lenses on the sarcophagus are all done as well, plus the little lens on his backside so you can see behind him uh, as well, which is really lovely. Uh, got the Mechanicus symbol, the little cog and all the little text and stuff done on the purity seal. 
all the meta work done, which is really, really lovely. Uh, it, extra, extra little periods seals with writing and stuff done, all these little details here all done with little gems and all the multiple highlighting done throughout on all of these. Uh, you've obviously got the um, the two green scrolls on the front of the sarcophagus as well, which are really, really cool. Uh, just to show that Dark Angel's heraldry as well, plus all the gold work done on the model through multiple stages of highlighting as well. Uh, so really, really awesome, awesome Deathwing Dreadnought to walk beside his fellow Deathwing brothers, which is lovely. So that's just him. Uh, we're going to jump over and have a look at the Rhino now, uh, and then we'll come back and have a look at the Mighty Land Raider in a second. Again, really, really cool Rhino, as you see here. Uh, Ignatius here written on the front as well, which is really cool. All the little uh, lenses and everything all fully painted on it as well in a really cool fashion as well. This is loose just so that our client for, for transport and storage as well, so it does come off. Um, it just makes it easier just obviously for transport and storage. Don't want obviously the storm bolters breaking off and things like that. But all the little lenses done on the cupola, as you'll see there as well. And then we've got this lovely uh, Dark Angel symbol that's been put onto the top of the uh, Rhino as well on weather, just so use of those hatches being opened and closed as well. Uh, so that's just been put onto the top of the Rhino, but you can see all the multiple highlighting stages done across all the little edges and the armor panels of this uh, lovely, lovely Rhino as well. Uh, super, super clean finish, which is what we want. And uh, really, really cool Rhino it's just to transport some of these tactical Marines into battle, uh, purging the enemies of the Emperor. Uh, and then next up, and lastly, we have have the uh, awesome, awesome Land Raider. Uh, again, a really incredible model, obviously in Deathwing colours to carry his Deathwing Knights into battle. Um, and any other of his green brothers can uh, can hop a ride if they want. But as you'll see, all the extra little details are all fully painted. Lovely, subtle green glow on all the lights and lenses on this chap as well. Uh, and that's every lens. So the top of the, t the, uh, the sponsors and turrets, uh, the side the lenses on there as well for the Hurricane Bolters. Uh, we've got obviously the machine spirit lens has also been done there as well. And again, all the little top parts are loose just so that our client can then transport, obviously, uh, this and for storage as well. It makes it easier as well, if need be. Uh, it just makes it easier. Uh, so this is just uh, an awesome, awesome example of some of the vehicles that we do here at Siege. And you can see these lovely, super, super clean finish on this as well, which is just really, really stellar as well. Uh, that should just go clock down. Uh, there we go, put that there for a minute. And uh, you can see every aspect of detail fully painted, fully highlighted throughout through all the different areas. Moving around the back, you can see uh, you've got all the little uh, extra details, and mechanica symbol all done there as well. And if we have a look at the back of that, that top multi motor as well, you can see even the targeting screen that has been painted as well. All the little lights and buttons and things are all done on there as well, which is really cool. So that just shows the amount of detail that we do put into these models for you guys, our clients. Uh, and moving around, uh, you can see around the front again, we'll just show the lovely, lovely front glow of those lights as well which is really really cool uh, and you can see obviously uh, the super super clean highlighting that's been done on this as well but again awesome awesome model uh, Land Raider very much a uh, iconic model from 40k uh, and that's the three heavy hitters from the army guys we're going to come back in a second and have a look at the force in all its glory again so stick around plus you can find out how to take out a character small force or large army like this commission with us here and see just stick around that's coming up again and you get to see these awesome dark angels in all their glory again see you guys back in a sec So thanks for checking the video out guys and I do hope that you have loved this Dark Angels army showcase with all the characters, infantry, tanks and specialist units. I really do hope that you've liked it. Um, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a vast army like this or characters which we specialise in or smaller projects, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once there, all you need to do very simply is select all the drop down options that are relevant to you and your project and requirements from those available and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get the process started and hear back from us with a quote. While you're here on YouTube do us a huge favour, firstly thumbs up the video, if you can subscribe to the channel it would really really be appreciated massively. If you do hit that bell icon you will be notified when new videos go up on the channel. Also in the description of the video you'll find all the links to our social media so Instagram, Twitter and also Facebook. If you can give us a like and follow respectively on those we'd appreciate it massively and from all the team and myself a massive thank you for watching the video i do hope you love this army project and we'll see you on the next video take care bye bye